All right, everybody, welcome to AR Pinball Stream of Dirty Harry. We're going to get started here momentarily. We'll let you view the instruction card that we have right up on the page right now. Uh, take a look at that, if you will. Now, those instructions are for a normal setup game for most of all. We're going to give you a demonstration on a hard setup game, though. Something if you were to play in a tournament setting, maybe a herb style, maybe group match play. Uh, more of a serious tournament where they, they're trying to move things along so they have the game set up a bit more difficult. This is how we've set up the game. This this is the, uh, the approach that we're going to take. We're going to let you know tournament strategy on a hard setup Dirty Harry. We have the back legs jacked up, fedge approved. No ball saver on. Now, even though the ball saver, the shoot again light, will flash when you plunge a ball, I believe it's based on two or three switches, similar to Congo. Or Attack from Mars, I most recently learned. Even if you turn off the ball save, it still is switch related. So, if you don't hit a switch or two, it will give it back to you regardless. And, of course, we have the hard settings, software-wise. And pretty tight tilt. The out lanes are as far up as you can put them in the machine. And what we're going to do here is, as we play, you're going to have Andy and Andrew play against each other. We're going to get this father and son battle going again, head to head. And we will let you know along the way, as far as our tournament strategies. I don't really want to tell you it all now. I kind of want to uh, tell you as we're playing, because we have the mic by the players now. So as we're playing, we can kind of keep you involved with what we're doing and what we're trying to do. We have quite the journey for you today. Stay tuned. We will start momentarily i'm waiting for andy the second to get down here because he's messing around right now doo, 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 doo. so we have a little house music playing a little electronica in the background speak of the devil i think we're ready to get this started right now you ready mister Who's going first? we're gonna have andrew go first so i've let them read the scorecard to this point and you can tell what you like to do while you play and when i play i'm gonna tell what i like to do and we'll see if we Matt to need the same style. So thank you for joining us. Make sure to follow us on Twitch. And after this is over, I will be uploading this to YouTube tonight. So I know Twitch only keeps it, I believe, for a couple of weeks. So we'll let it be around for a while for you so you can view it on YouTube. All right, stand by for transmission. Doing two play or one? We've got two play. Okay, it's off. Ready when you are. I'm, I'm ready. I'm switch over, though. Go ahead, make my day. That's a pretty big gun. Huh. I usually just go for multi-ball over and over. It's all be fun to watch. Do the same thing. And I always choose the ramp shot, Let's skill go. shot. I don't know if he talked about that. No. You can use the left flipper to cycle it. through. And then you gotta plunge the ball right on it to get your skill shot. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna shoot up to this loop. A magnet's gonna grab the ball and it's gonna give you 10 million just for choosing the skill shot. Then it's Let's gonna go. come to this flipper. And if you hit the ramp again, or if you hit the ramp off that loop shot, then you get another 10 million. Yep. And it's worth more than everything. Look, you can choose 5 million here, or literally just for plunging the ball and ramp shot, you get 10 million. But it missed the switch back there. Next ball, when he goes, he's going to choose the same thing. So that's what everyone does. And then you can see he'll give him 10 million, and then if he makes it again, you get another 10. Multiball, you have to shoot all the flashing badges. So, all right, so there's a badge inside that safe shot, safe house you probably can't see. Wait, I only have one badge left. That right ramp. Oh, my bad.
All right, also let us know, Andy here is about to play. Let us know on the stream how the microphone is sounding because we have it between the, the speakers and us Rapping and the machine. So if we need to turn the machine down, let us know. Mic's about a foot from the mouth or so. Usually we have a mic at the broadcasting table, but doing a little echo situation because this is picking up too much uh, ambient noise. So, But I do like how it sounds, how it picks up the machine and us. All right, so anyways... I'm going to plunge a ball just like he did. I like to pick the ramp shot skill shot. He already explained to you I'm going to get 10 million if it goes up there and hits the magnet. And if I make this ramp, 10 million. All right? Now, here's another thing. When I plunge the ball in this game, this is in a tournament setting, whether it has no ball saver or a two-second ball saver, if there is a small ball saver on, I'm going for the safe house right away to get the first safe house award out of the way. Now, even though this has no ball saver, I'm still going to do the same thing. It's just how I play the game. Um, and then that first safe house reward is a hurry up on the left loop and it starts at 50 million and then that can keep running even if I start another mode somewhere but that second safe house reward is a two ball multi ball and it starts counting down from 25 million if you hit it up in this Acme warehouse the single ball play it will start your two ball play and every shot to that warehouse is whatever the jackpot value is so that's what I'm going to go for right out, right out the bottom here I'm going to go for the safe house And as I play, of course, I'll explain to you some other stuff I'm trying to do. But like I said, this is, if I'm going to a tournament, herb style, whatever, doesn't matter, head-to-head, -head, this is what I'm doing. Grab the gun and fire. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay, this is not what I'm doing. I'm thinking I need some new contacts here. Let's try this, even though I'll probably miss a shot. See, that's why you don't do that. I've still got zero points. That was funny. Okay, don't pay attention to me. I should not have did that. I'm still going for the safe house. There, so I got my 50 million hurry up. The bank robbery. Now if I hit that left side ramp, the same one where you start multi-ball at, that's how you relight that. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Anyways. Man, I was lucky, 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 lucky. That one's gone. All right, I guess I don't get that, and hopefully ball two, I'll do what I said I'm supposed to do. Terrible. mode gives a decent amount of points you can do it. I think it's usually like a little over 100 when you complete it. So it's like 50 and then you add up all the people. Yeah, 130. That's one of the few modes I'll play. Okay, maybe I'll actually do the uh, correct ramp shot, not load gun, dum-dum. That's what I did last time. Andy here up to play, and this headquarter here is how you start the um, normal mode, these modes that are in the center. I'm not sure if Andrew spoke about those. Some of the modes are good, some are not. The warehouse raid is an excellent mode, and in tournament That's mode, like we have it, the modes are going to be in order. Okay, so the first mode is going to be a ballroom brawl the second one car chase and the third one warehouse raid that's a single ball played and the more you get to hit this acme warehouse over and over the higher the value goes up it's great it's a really really good mode for points and that is a timed mode grab the gun and fire so right now the headquarters is lit to start one of those modes after you're done playing that the way you relight the headquarters is either the left loop or right loop I recommend shooting for the left loop because it goes all the way around, it clears the pop bumper area, clears the uh, lanes up top, and it goes to your right flipper, okay? If you hit the right loop the to light headquarters, it diverts it up in the pop bumpers, and when it comes out from this middle area, it's a lot of trouble heading down towards that middle. So right now, like I said, I'm going to actually do the correct thing and go for ramp shot. There's my 10 million. There's my 10 million there, and I'm going for safe house because I want to get in this two ball multi-ball mode. 
I guess I'm not doing that. Once again, hard setup game. I'm going to blame it on the game. I'm blaming it on the game. Yeah, this ain't no location setup game. All right, man. Hit the right plant or let's go headquarter scoop. Now we're getting somewhere. Come on. Well, I'll take it. This mode, uh, you can try and backhand it on the fly like I just did. See? What have we here? That'll be the quickest way to keep getting it back in there. And as you see, the point value builds by 5 million every time. The first time you can hit it on the side ramp or in that shot to get your multiball started, but after that you can only start it at the side ramp. For this mode, I always choose the 15 million, or you can choose to shoot the gun at the target and get those points, but um, I found usually when I shoot the gun the ball goes down, so I'd rather just take the safe 15. I never play this mode. It's too risky. See that kick out? That's, uh, I don't like it. I was only hitting it to get my uh, police badge from multiball. Dang. I just jumped off the ramp. Yeah, it jumped off like around here. Uh -uh. I've never seen that. No, I've never seen it. I gotta get a drink. It, this is my stall always when I'm doing bad in a turn up. Tournament, not a turn up. I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. I'm talking about fire. turning up like I'm DJing at the club. Todd Siever says this is what I do all the time. He says like, uh, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom when I'm at the tournament or I gotta get a drink. Probably right. Gotta do the stall tactic. All right, set my water here. Okay, here's what's up. Sometimes the game feels sorry for you, and every time you go from ball to ball, it will spot you one of these sheriff targets here. It looks like I still have three lit. And the hardest one to achieve is this, that right ramp is the hardest one to hit. Um, it's a weird ramp. You can go up it with a lot of speed, and it seems like it wants to just throw that ball right down at you unless you have a perfect shot. It's just, it's just in the design, though. It's a tough one. That's probably the hardest one to get, and the second hardest one to achieve is probably the safe house. So anyways, you know, right now I'm on third ball. I'm not doing too good. I'm still going to just stick to my guns and go for that safe house because I know I have a two ball multi ball waiting for me. If I get it in the safe house and then get it up in this Acme warehouse, it's a countdown. You have to get it in there. So here we go. I'm going to pick ramp shot for my skill shot. Got 10 million. I did terrible there. <laughs> I swear I'm going to do better this next game. After I stop flailing. Okay. Calm down. See, now this is risky because usually on a game that has a ball saver, I'm too scared to shoot for this uh, safe house thing and I go for headquarters. So I'm probably actually going to do that. 
Like I said, I don't have any security there anymore, even even if it's a one-second ball save, whatever the game has right now. So I'm going to go for ball, Ballroom bar room Brawl. It's actually a really good mode if you can play it well. It's got to shoot what's lit. Shoot the, the lit shots as normal. But I guess first I got to hit it in the headquarters hole, which probably not going to do that. So, oh boy. What a shame. Well, obviously, Andrew got game one. I was no challenge for him at all. 670 to 77. So, I shall walk over here in embarrassment. I'm coming back in game two. mode started before you go into multi-ball, the mode does not play during multi-ball. It pauses the timer and it kind of just resumes after your multi-ball ends. Uh, headquarters mode, you have to hit the left or right loop once to relight it. jackpot. That side ramp is a super jackpot. The super jackpot, you can just keep getting over and over. The right ramp, you'd have to get a jackpot and then relight it in the uh, warehouse. You get one jackpot on the right ramp, and then you have to hit it in that warehouse once. Big building.
So, I'm gonna do something here where I'm gonna use the gun to hit the side ramp. I might do it. So I did that so I could get the badge there, and then also I get one shot into that car chase. So the 20 million and the one badge towards multiball is worth more to me. That was a quick multi ball he was talking about. And very, very good ball one. Andrew is continuing to annihilate. And I'm going to stick with my guns. I'm going to go for that ramp shot, skill shot. And I'm going right for, like I said, I'm going to go for the um, safe house here to start this 50 million hurry up in the left loop. So here we go. There we go. So I finally did something right for once. Left loop's available. Might as well try to get a quick 50 million. 50 million ish. Oh, come on, baby. Let's go. All right. Don't lose I'm going to hit that left ramp to re light the safe house as well. I think it's already lit, though. That's odd. Man. Let's go. Well, I'll start a headquarters mode. And you can start a mode while that hurry up is running. So I'm going to try to hit the diverter. Oh my god, that was a terrible bounce. Mm -mm -mm. Oh well. You're up, champ. Yeah. I think I got this thing up to like 45 million or 50 million a shot. It's worth a lot. It's gonna be real quick. Real quick about it. You can trap up or do a trick to kind of like get the ball over here and then shoot the shot. That adds too much time. If you can just do it on the fly, I mean look, 145 plus 40, I got 185 million for that mode.
Alright, we got... Man, at least one of us is playing good. Apologize for my poor play today. Um, something to mention here, he did tilt the game. This game's bonus is terrible, so it really doesn't matter. It's a bonus. Maybe, maybe you get $25 million if you're lucky, so who cares? I mean, unless you're like, you know, a couple million behind somebody when you're drain. Grab the gun and fire. You have to bump to try to save the ball. Go for it. Another thing I wanted to mention is they have this left in lane says Let's light go. magna force and it's pink and it's lit. And when it's lit, if you roll through the in lane, it makes it so if you shoot this right loop, there's a diverter and it'll make the ball the come fire. back down to the right flipper so you can shoot the ramp or whatever. It doesn't go all the way around the loop to the pop bumper. So only when that light magna force is lit over there. Let's and every go. time you shoot that right loop when it is lit and it diverts it back down, the magnet grabs it. It's 10 million shot anyway. So alrighty. We'll talk about some other things the game has in a little while here. There's some ransoms, and we'll tell you how to raise jackpots during multi-ball as well. Even though it doesn't raise it that greatly, but there is a way to do it, though. Let's go. All right, so once again, same skill shot. I'm going for the ramp shot. It didn't go up all the way, so I missed the initial 10 million. There we go. Got to get it up here and get this multi-ball going to Acme Warehouse. Starts at 25K. Instant multi-ball. Come on, baby. Man, oh, man. Come on, come on. There, so I'm at 19. Now you can backhand this shot. The problem is if you backhand it over and over very quickly with two balls, it will only count one ball. So what you really want to do is backhand it. If I can even get one. <laughs> and then you want to go on that. You really want to trap the ball. Now right now I'm going to shoot for the headquarter shot. It's kind of like a, oh boy. There, like that, because you're going to collect these ransom every time it goes down, too. So I'm going for the headquarter. Bam, I did it again. Now I'm going to go try to go back. Now, the reason I shot that right ramp on purpose is because if I would have shot it in there, it would not have collect a counter because I shot it in there too, too quickly, like I said. Same thing with this one. It's going to go, watch. If I shoot that, oh, okay, whatever. Defy me, game. Usually, if you go so quick, it won't, it won't uh, count the second ball. Now the game is making me out to be a liar. I'm just going to let that go down. Give me another one, baby. Come on. Just like Andrew said, when I play this, I'm not trying to shoot this target this lit for whatever. I'm just going to take the 50 million and run with it. Too risky. Headquarters is lit. I started the mode. The car chase. It's a pretty good mode if you want to play it. But I'm going to try to hit the right ramp to try to collect this last badge right now really quick. So I can get my multi-ball. It's a really hard ramp. Especially if you don't know how to aim for it like I don't, apparently. Woo. All right, I'm going to go for the left loop. Just because of, oh, give it to me, baby. Hey, I'll take it. Mold points. There we go. Ugh. Man, I am playing sloppy. All right, I'm going to go for that right ramp still. I know the mode's going, but I really don't care about it right now. And yes, if you try to cradle the ball during the mode, it will stop the timers. Luckily, I had two seconds left there. So, you know, it ran it for a couple seconds. I've just seen the scores flash. He's got a billion. My goodness. So I'm not doing too good here compared to that. Using a tournament when it's set up hard, in my opinion, if you get 500 or more million, you're doing pretty good. I think I think that's fine. Head to head, I'd take that all day long on a hard setup game. So, all right, I'm going to go for this right ramp so I can get this last badge. Come on, you jerk. See what I mean? How weird that ramp is, guys? I'm going to go for the headquarters shot. It's like a cop out every time. Man, these slings are on fire. Bye-bye. Wow. Wow, wow. Get out of there. Stop. Okay, ramp. It's an easy shot. I don't have time to break it in. Oh, yeah. Multi-ball lit. You can start at rate. Oh, my goodness gracious. I like backhand the multi-ball. Get in there, you rascal. Look at this. Go over here just like Terminator 2. Try to line up your shot. Hit the ramp, boys and girls. Oh, yeah. Okay, the way you raise your jackpot is by hitting it in the safe house. But it does not raise it that much, all right? I got a regular jackpot. Now I got to go back in the the uh, whatever in the hell. <laughs> whatever that weird thing is called up there. That middle thing. <laughs> I think it's an Acme Warehouse. Woo! That's how I relight it. Supers are always lit, like the young man said. I'm going to go and uh, try to hit this left loop to get. Oh, boy. I was going to try to hit the left loop to get a super. 
I did a little shimmy on the game because it was going down the middle. There. Man, I just played that multi ball horrible. Okay, once again, I'm just going to take the 20 million. That lights, by the way, that little where you get to choose left or right. You light that thing by hitting the right ramp, okay? I don't like headquarters. There we go. Thank you. There, headquarters lit. I lit in there. Warehouse raid. Single ball mullet. He blew it up. I'm going to try the same thing. Hit it up in the warehouse over and over during this. Forehand it or backhand. There's my first one. He had, he was doing great. He was backhanding it. Most dirty Harrys, yes, you can backhand that shot. Shucks. Not all of them, though. Ugh, I did that because I thought it was going to bounce down the middle. All right, I'm going to try to give us a back shot right here. I didn't say I was going to make it. I said I was going to... Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Hold on. Yes. Got two forehands. All right. Kind of like Doc Ock and Spider-Man. You want to backhand this baby. I guess if you can't do it, then whatever. It is what it is. Coming out of the pop bumpers from that right loop, which is horrible. Yes, I got one when the time ran out. Whatever. I'm going to lay headquarters at the left loop. Sometimes you can hold up the flipper like I did if you've seen it after it looped. On some dirty Harry's, it will fall right in that, um... It will fall right in that... Oh, boy. Like, if you hit that loop and hold the flipper up, the ball will go right over to this headquarter hole, which, on this one, it does not do it, unfortunately. But, um, I play several that it does, so it's worth a try for your first time shooting loop. Okay. I know he's still ahead of me, but at least I gave it a... I gave it a whirl. This ball got a little bit better. Grab the gun and fire. This game's tough, man. Those outlanes are like giant on this. They're, they're open all the way up, and it's... It's pretty dang wide. Kind of like Circus Voltaire when you open up the uh, the outlanes. It's a big gap there. So I have almost all the modes done. You just have to play them. You don't have to do good in them. And then the last one's Crime Wave up top. So I'm trying to just time out the mode, but I don't think they have a mode timer, so I kind of have to like hit a switch, and then the timer will go for a couple seconds, and then I don't know. I'll probably just keep trying backhanding that. That might uh, kill some time. I can hit it. been a while since I got to this, so yeah. I'll have to see how you do it. I'm standing next to Andrew because I don't know too. Go ahead. I think you just hit the badges over and over. This is something you usually don't get to, so I kind of want to watch this. Crime wave, shoot badges to make arrests. 
just like you said, that looks like right off those points are at. We've got 20 million. And this is not timed, right? I think I think you keep going uh, down to one ball. I think. Yeah. Got the ball save around. So. Oh, he's at 1.4. He's dang it. Making it tough for me to come back. Oh, well, tear it up. That's what we need. It's a good tutorial. He's giving it to you. <laughs> trying to hit that ramp. That right Fire ramp, ramp, guys. Yeah, that right ramp is so freaking tough on this game, guys. Seriously. It just seriously is very tough. I mean, you got to hit that thing with some... I mean, these, these flippers on this are powerful. You have to hit that thing with some, some might. you got to put some oomph into it and, to make it go around. See, look at that. It's like, oh, I barely gets around and bam. He got it, though. Now he's got the, the elusive side ramp. And unfortunately, his little pink left end lane is not lit, so he can't uh, hit the diverter there. Ah. Well, every ball, it wasn't plunging any of the balls during that. It was kicking it up to this, and it would just randomly shoot it wherever on the play field. So, you know, usually whenever we plunge for the skill shot, it feeds the ball here to this upper flipper, and you can try. But during that, you got to be, while you have four balls in play, you have to be able to hit the left loop and then also hit that ramp. So I don't know. I think strategy for that, you probably want to try and trap up some balls with the left flipper and get one over here and hit it around. And then that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> maybe next time. Maybe next time. Field promotion, everything's 4x. So I'm gonna try and start a multi ball as quick. Or maybe I should just do that. Uh. I'm gonna 4x it. <laughs> is that 40? I forgot this is like sort of a strategy I've heard of. It's a shootout. What's that? You lose the ball? Yeah. That's what ball, right? This one on the outlane. No, it's after you complete the bullets, I think, every amount of time. Or no, it's light shootout on that magazine. Or whatever. This, you have to shoot all the bullets. Got it. It's pretty much impossible. That's my best shot. There's no... Time. See, there's one target underneath the one target underneath that flipper. It's really hard to get. It's really hard to just shoot it. You kind of got gotta get lucky. Maybe if you hit it up that side ramp and it goes down, it'll hit it sometime. But kind of just luck with that one. Man, he gave it to me. He got 1.7 billion, I believe. That I mean, seriously, if you got that determined, just I mean, that's like a top that's qualifying a score usually. So. That's a little scary. I've got like 600 and something million, and I'd be happy with that normally. So it's pretty big. Um, yeah, the shootout similar to Black Knight. Like when you're on your third ball and Black Knight, I'm talking about the old Black Knight, the first Black Knight, Williams Black Knight. When the last chance lights in the out lanes, and if you lose your third ball, you get to keep playing a while, whatever. This one we'd like to shoot out. It's a time thing, like you just seen Andrew do. And he, what do you have to hit during that? The, ba the targets or the badges? Let's go. I mean, the, did you shoot the drop? Uh, Stand-up targets, not the bullet targets, whatever they are. Anyways, I don't know. These, I mean, these things are fine, whatever. It is what it is, but it's not really something you really aim to go fire. for. Um, and he lit that, like he said, in this magazine. Light Shootout was one of the, the uh, rewards. There's five rewards on that. Every time you hit these bullets, it completes the, um, the magazine, and you're going to get one of those rewards when you collect it at the Grab Acme the Warehouse. Fire. At the Acme Warehouse, the same warehouse you start multi-ball. And then you do whatever and play that, whatever that is. One of them, Magnum Jets, it gives you uh, two million. I think it's two million a, a pop bumper, so it's pretty pretty big to hit up there. Then you get Magnum Bullets, Light Extra Ball, which you're not getting in the tournament, obviously. Light That's Shootout and Playfield Promotion. I think that is, is the Playfield Promotion like when it does you from captain to lieutenant and all that stuff? The Playfield Promotion on that. Uh, Let's go. The magazine over there on the left. I think so. Yeah. So
somebody chime in and confirm because I'm not 100% because I really don't pay attention to those. Is it? And usually when I play, I mean, honestly, I, I pay attention to some of the modes. And I'm trying to get multi-ball and trying to do that two-ball multi-ball right there. So the safe house has four Let's different go. modes, technically. And like I said, you light that by shooting the left, uh, the left jackpot, super jackpot ramp. And the only one that I like out of all, all those is that two-ball multi-ball. So the other ones, I try to time it out as much as possible. But I really don't shoot for the safe house anymore after I get that two-ball multi-ball. Let's go. All right, so right now, uh, one, I have two badges lit to get multi-ball, and I maybe when I plunge it, it might give me one of those badges. That's usually what happens, like every ball you advance. And on a normal game, I was going to say all five badges are lit from the get-go, and when you get in the settings and make it a little bit harder for tournament, it might have three badges lit, and then after you get those, it will light the other two on, on different shots. So, But there's five badges total. I got two right now. One in the safe house, one in the right ramp. Right now, let's just see what happens. Choose my ramp shot, skill shot, as always. There's 10 million. There's 10 million. I'm going to go right for headquarters. It's like a little combo thing. I didn't make it happen, though, unfortunately. I'm going to go for the right ramp. Not hit it, though. Oh, shucks. Man, that was... Man, oh, man. That was not good is what it was. All right, come on, right ramp. I need this badge. See that? Up, down. That's, that's, that's what the... Oh, boy. Dumb dumb. That's what that thing does. Oh no. Get out of there. These slingshots are ridiculous. It's like. I'm gonna go for the safe house. I need these badges. Yes. This mode super loops. It's not worth anything at all. You just shoot the loops for points. I don't care. I'm going for that right ramp badge. Man, look at that. See, it went halfway up the ramp again, guys. That was my fault. When it comes out of left loop, really can't do a lot of passing over on this game, just the way it's designed, so I'm shooting. Oh, boy. Oh, I was going to shoot for the headquarters. But you really can't hold up the flipper and do a lot of passing over, especially with the tight tilt. So when the ball comes down here to the right flipper, I'm trying to shoot that headquarters shot. If it's not lit, then I'm trying to shoot the left loop. When it's on the left flipper... You're usually going for the right ramp, the right loop, or the or the Acme Warehouse. I mean, that's just normal shots like on the fly is what I'm trying to tell you. You don't go for this safe house too often on the fly. It's just, it's very dangerous. There we go, finally. Multi-ball lit. Uh-oh. No! Oh, please. I was scared that slingshot was going to fire. Right, I'm going over here so I can see a little better to hit this shot it's like terminator like i said bam i missed it anyway it's like a dumb dumb all right come on need some supers need a lot of supers I'm only at under seven still i believe Ugh, i didn't get it didn't get it deep enough on that on that flipper all right, then to come down here, I'm going to have to try to tap one over. Fliptronic flippers, though. So see how it doesn't work that well? That, that's, flip, that's the design of the flippers. You really can't do tip passes on a game like this. I mean, they're very extremely tough. Man, I was about to let that one go. There we go. Man. Okay, I'm, why do they have to get out of my way so I can shoot them? <laughs> oh, well. Why am I even talking? Ugh. Now it feels sorry for me because I didn't hit any jackpots, so we'll give you a little a little timer here to get one jackpot. I'll try to hit the right ramp. Oh my gosh, it was there. Now the reason I left loop diverted is because I'm in the um Why did it divert? It's either for the mode that it diverted or because I'm in the pot bumper mode thing. I, I don't know what it is. I'm not sure. Somebody's gonna have to let me know on that one. Usually it diverts if the pop bumpers are lit for two million, but they're not. So it must be something to do with the smaller. It might up the value of the safe house. I am not 100. I did that just because I'm trying to collect more badges so I can get to the uh, multi-ball again. This, this mode's not, it's not the greatest. 
because it wants me to shoot the safe house over and over, which is dangerous, first of all. All right, I'm going to try to go for the badges. So I got two more left. Right now, left loop, light headquarters, like I said, because headquarters isn't lit. Man, oh well. <laughs> I lit headquarters on the right loop, which is dangerous. I was trying to hit that right ramp. There we go. I need one more. It, see, every time he's like, need the right ramp or the safe house for multi ball. I'm just going to go for the right ramp on the fly. Plus, I'm, plus I'm playing this meet the mob mode. There. Ransom points. Oh, shucks. Man, that stupid right ramp, guys. Ah, that doesn't matter. I had to shoot out, but there's no way I was getting to his score. All right, I got 818, and I would usually be very happy with that, but not this time. He, like, doubled my score there. So he got me the first two games. Let me see. We went live the other day. We played... Wait, what game did we go 3-3? Three three? Was that Attack from Mars? Yeah, I think we went 3-3 three and three Attack from Mars, and then I think I got him on Fathom. So now we're equal. I got him two to one at Fathom. He's got me two to zero on this. We're gonna make it make it happen. Keep it going. He's on a hot streak. Let's see if I can stop one of his hot streak games. Go to game three. Once again, you have any questions? Hit us up in the chat, and uh, we'll get on the mic and answer you back. Let us know if we're missing something because we do know some stuff, but we definitely do not know it all. So this is just how, like I said, how I approach it in the tournament, and I'm pretty sure he can speak for himself and say the same thing. So. Alrighty, game three coming up. I'm making Andrew go first again. He likes going first. Okay. Better see, better see. Same stuff. Welcome to Homicide. to hit that on the fly because the speed's different every time it goes around.
Oh, that's a bad Both idea. Alrighty here. Give this a whirl. Game three, even though Andrew's already up two to Let's one go. on dad here. Andy, daddy all. Alright. He's got two eight two, it's a good first ball. I'm doing the same thing, going for the uh, ramp shot as my skill shot every time. I don't care, that's just what I do. Gives you 10 million if it actually goes up all the way and hits the magnet and comes with the flipper, if it diverts to the upper flipper, hit the left ramp, the get a skill shot of 10 million, and that goes up every time, by the way. So, all right, let's do this. So, we move the flippers to choose, of course. I'm gonna choose ramp shot, so there it goes. I didn't get my first 10 million, but I got that, I'm going for safe house. Oh, well, you got headquarters. I'll take that. San Francisco does not pay criminals. I'm going to go for the diverter. Diverts it. 10 million. Hit the ramp. I tried to, but I didn't. Man. And it comes out of that uh, warehouse. It's, I should do a little shimmy, a little shake there, a little warble. But it likes to head straight down the middle most of the time. So, all right. Stretching here. The jumpy jacks. Good to see me do my jumping jacks. I was out of the way. Alright. I got a chance. Give me a chance this game. I see he's trying to take it easy. Ramp shot. Come on. Give me that 10 million. Give me that 10 million. Get in the safe house. Oh my goodness. Well, I tried to let it dead bounce, but I hit the cabinet and I think it just maybe a flipper twitch a little bit there. So, okay. Raid mode, it's worth good points. Not too many points from it now, and you don't hit it. Get ready for multi ball. Do it. Can't do it today. 
least could use this. It's still not too bad. I think we're at like 50 million for the mode. That's 75, right? So. Hey, it got me more points for that multi ball. Final 30, so like 110 total. Not bad, not bad. Look at that bonus. You play forever and you get 24 million bonus. He's got 812 while we got 105. I think I got a dumb multi ball too. What? Obviously, with zero jackpots. Sometimes a multi can be worth, you know, more than multi ball. Multi ball, 25 million right Grab ramp. Unless you raise it, you know, by hitting in the safe house, it's still not that big. And supers are 50 or 50 ish if you raise them. Still, though, you know, some modes you get a lot of points. All right. Grab shot. 10 million. 10 million. I was going to try to. Ugh. There we go. I was trying for that. Catch my stupid first one. Oh, whatever. Let's go. I'm going to safe house again. I'm gonna try for the safe house again in a second after I go for a couple badges because I just want to play this um, the second safe house mode, which is that two ball multi ball. Well, actually, it's single ball until you hit the uh, Acme Warehouse to start the two-ball multi-ball. It's like a little countdown. Come on, baby. Oh, my gosh. There it is. Yeah, very tight tilt. You're not getting away with one like a modern stern. You shake it, it's going to go warning tilt, so... Man, he got me three in a row. I guess I quit while I'm ahead. We're going to play another game anyways. I'm going to try to go out. We're going to play one more. If there's any rules we have not gone over, let us know. Like I said, not just rules. Not like, hey, you'll play it in your basement or in a tournament. I'm talking about, I'm sorry, around location. I'm talking about tournament rules. You go into one of the elusive, awesome tournaments where the game's set up very hard. You're not attacking it like it's on location with extra balls, etc. You're attacking it like it's a hard game. It's all about time management. What can I do if I play the game for five minutes? You know, what's the best way I'm going to score? Similar to pin, go pin golf, you know. You want to know what you're going to do the quickest with the time you have. What, How high of a score can you get with the minimal amount of time? And also, you have to include what shots are safe. That, that's your best tournament bet. That's what I would say. That's my feelings on it anyways. Okay. Andrew will go first again. It's our, eh, probably our last game. Been doing it for about an hour now, so we're good, guys. I think we get the gist of it. Go ahead, make my day. Welcome to Homicide. It's like, haha, you saved it. <laughs> All right. Yes, any time in a machine. If you get a good save, or if you get a, or if the machine just gives you a decent save, you're losing it about two seconds later. That's how it punishes you. Makes you happy for a split second. The gun and fire. All right, he gave me a chance. Ramp shot, come on, baby. He's up three to zero on me. Man.
I didn't know that about that stuff, Jared, about the 20 and 40 million. I was just reading that on that. I thought it was 25 and 50. Maybe it is 20 and 40. See how Jared was saying it just started at the, uh, yeah. where else? It may, it may be. I've, I've never paid attention. That's a good point, though. And the Grab Alcatraz the multi-ball. I'm not sure what that is exactly. It, so, it sounds really familiar, but... Is that the welcome to Al El Ido? Okay. <laughs> do, 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 do. Is that <laughs> is that the welcome to Al <laughs> Alcatraz after you play like four safe house modes? And if and if so, I think that's what it is. That's not bad. You're right. You technically can try to blow through those other two dumb safe house modes to get to it. But isn't that a hard mode though to complete? I mean, I can't remember that it's something easy. So refresh my memory on that one. It seems like you have to do some stuff that that's not really fire. easy during that mode. So refresh my memory. idiot see I knew that was going it's just it's yeah I knew it and the second I missed that shot well at least he's giving me a chance we'll see what happens on ball three see if you can make a comeback or not rats Well, give me a chance. Got 200-ish. I got 67. He got 217. He's at 217. I got to think tournament-wise. What's safe? I really want to get the safe house two-ball multi-ball going because I need three badges, and two of the three shots are the hardest shot, shot in the game. So, man, I'm, a, I'm going for the safe house. And if I start a mode, great, because the car chase has got some good points in there, too. So, I'm going for the safe house to get this multi-ball. All right, I'm still going to go for the safe house on the fly right here. It's not safe, but I really need to try to pass him. Yes. Come on, baby. Oh, wow. I, th I thought it was my second one. That's a stupid hurry up. 50 million. Oh, man, that was a mistake. All right, let me get this ramp real quick. Oh, no. I went up to the dumb pop bumper in the lanes. There we go. I'm going for the safe house. Nobody said I was going to hit it. I'm going for the safe house again. I need this two-ball multi-ball. Come on, dumb dumb. There we go. I got to hit it up in that Acme warehouse. The big, bright, blinking lighty. Hope I can do a drop catch here. Sometimes it hits the wrong part of the flipper, so you can't. There. Sometimes it hits way up here. Oh, you idiot. Hit it on the fly, dumb Andy. All right. I don't care about this mode. I need this I need this multi-ball bad. There, oh, my gosh. See what happens when you speak? Stay in there. All right. 18 million. First time I bounced out, guys. Don't count your chickens before they hatched. Oh, boy. I got one. I don't think I get the ball back. There's no ball saver on, so there's no ball backs for this multi-ball either. So... All right, I got two great scores there. All right. There you go. I always go for that shot when it's lit, that the diverter shot. See, I mean, you just pick up lots of millions doing that. All right. Luckily, I passed him. We're going to finish out this game. He let me get one. Man. I'm trying to hit that right ramp. Man. <laughs> These slingshots are so sensitive on this. It's really hard just to let the game dead bounce a lot of times because you know it's going to dead bounce into a slingshot. No, no. Yes, multiple ball. Come on, baby. Multiple ball. 400 million. Yes. Right there off the bat, boys and girls. Get up there. Give me another multiple. I mean, super. A super something. All 
All right, I got him cradled because I'll need to get some control. I really want to get two balls on the left flipper. It probably is not going to happen. Like I said, this game has flip-tronic flippers. What that means back then, a lot of Williams games, it has two circuit boards instead of two actual mechanical contact switches at each flipper. So when you have a mechanical switch, it's a lot easier to do tip passes. A game like this, I could let go of the flipper and it might delay for such a millisecond that the flipper would still even stay up. So when you're trying to do a tip pass, which requires a mechanical millisecond activation, it's really hard to do that with Fliptronics flippers. So I'm gonna try to do a cradle separation, but like I said, it's tough. See, that, that's what kind of stuff happens. It's, it's really hard, honestly. There you go, roll over. And you barely get it over there. Oh, there you go. Man. It went in the hole and that noise you just heard was that um, it increased the jackpot, which I actually could have shot one off that right upper flipper, but I was busy trying to save the stupid ball down here. Oh, well. Let me get this feel lucky thing. That's from hitting the right ramp. I'm going to choose the left, like I said. Don't try to say, oh, I'm going to go for this target. Why? So I can lose the ball? No. Because it will load the stupid um, gun right here. So we ain't doing that. Took the easy 15 million. Go for headquarters. Warehouse raid. There we go. Shoot the warehouse over and over for X amount of seconds. That was a big ransom. The ransoms are from the pop bumpers that builds the value. And if this collect ransom light lit over here, you hit it inside the hole and, and that will be flashing that ransom insert. And that's where you get the points from. Woo! All right, I'm, I'm going to attempt to backhand this as often as I can. There we go. Most dirty Harrys, that's a backhandable shot, not all. I'm up to 20, a shot. There we go, 25 for that one. How did it, Mr. Mr. Clint Eastwood? Sorry for the flail fest. Six seconds left. Give me one. Up past 700 now. Great mode, guys. I'm telling you, warehouse raid. You want to get to that in competition. Look at that. From one mode. You can usually sneak one in, too, after the timer's over. No, I missed it. It would have gave it to me, though. I just did a bailout raid after I did that drop catch. I'm going to, yep, go for that. Now I'm going to go for that. It's like a combo you do in this game. Now I'm going to go for the left loop. I could go for the ransom shot, the headquarters, but I want to, there. Oh, I lit the headquarters, but it went so slow, it stopped up with the dumb pop bumpers. This is, this is a bad feed on this game. All right. Right now I'm going to, wow, man, I need two more badges. I need, so i got to think about this. If I get that left loop and that safe house shot, I'm going to have another multi-ball lit. Or I can go to the headquarters and play a terrible mode called letter bomb. I'm going to go for the safe house shot and hopefully I get it and then hopefully I can hit that left ramp like I said. See, I missed it. Oh well. Alright, that was it. Um, I got 801, 801, 200. He let me win one. Thank you. Uh, that is going to be it for us. Thanks for watching our Dirty Harry tournament tutorial. I'm going to upload it to YouTube very shortly here. All of our uh, tutorials are going to be on YouTube, so check them out. We got one for Fathom so far, Attack from Mars, Dirty Harry, and Elvira, and Elvis. And they're all very hard set up games, you know. No extra balls, tournament style, something you'd expect if you go to a big tournament. So, take it carry. We want you to know what to do in a big tournament. What, what should you go for? What are the points at? In a quick fashion, all right? So, the next one we're probably going to do is, you want to do Sea Witch? We'll do see what's next. We're gonna we'll go back and forth maybe here and there from older games, and we will be doing the, some EM stuff soon, by the way. But maybe we'll we'll do maybe a Deadpool one coming up, or maybe something crazy like that too. But a lot of people, you know, have been doing the Stern, so we're just trying to do some other games. We've got to do Title Fight. I've had a request for Title Fight. That one, you know, I've seen that one at Pinburg. I haven't seen that in any other tournament, but Pinburg in here, so. Uh, not here. I'm at our tournaments. We've had a couple of these title fight, but once again, this is Andy signing off. Thanks for joining us uh, And every time like I said whenever we do these live things we appreciate it if you give us feedback Jared was helping us feds in the house on the chat if there's stuff we don't know about 
let us know because we don't know it all. We're just trying to give you the knowledge we have. Alrighty, so take care. We'll see you next time. I'm going to upload this to YouTube in a bit here. And uh, be safe during these times. All right, guys? Catch you later. Andy, signing off.